This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. On this version, it's question number 24. This question is really all about the operations, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So let's take just a couple, like maybe a minute to talk about them. I tend to think of them in terms of stuff. If I'm gonna add stuff, that means I'm gonna combine stuff. I'm gonna bring things together. If I have three of this stuff and I have seven of this stuff, then I have 10 stuff because I bring them together. Subtraction, or subtract, I'm gonna remove stuff. I have some stuff, I'm gonna take some stuff away. It's an ugly looking you. For multiply, This is combined groups of stuff. Because really, multiplication is just a lot of addition. So if you are just combining stuff, it's probably add. If you're combining groups of stuff, it's probably multiply. As long as the groups are the same. And then division... is breaking stuff into groups. So it's the opposite. In one, for multiply, I already have the groups made and I combine them together. The groups should be all the same. So if I have three groups of four, I'll multiply and it'll give me this much stuff, 12 stuff. That's a unit of measure I'm using now. And then breaking stuff up is if I had 12 and I wanted to break it into groups of four, I ended up with three. So if I'm breaking the stuff up into groups, it's division. If I have the groups and they're the same, then I'm going to combine those groups together, then it's multiply. So let's look at the question, shall we? Jasmine has 20 marbles. She places the marbles in four groups, and each group has the same number of marbles. So she starts out with some stuff. She places them in groups, so she breaks them into groups. She's just not so um, kind of not calm and collected, so she doesn't break things into groups. She places them nicely there. She's a kind soul. Which expression can be used to find the number of marbles in each group? Well, she's not combining stuff, so that's out. She's not removing stuff, so that's out. She's not combining groups of stuff, so that's out. She's breaking stuff into groups, so that is a division answer. So the answer to number 24 is S. Again, when you're taking your test, if you're working your problems up in the workbook, make sure you write the letter or something to remind yourself what you've chosen so when you take it over to your answer sheet, it matches up and you don't make a mistake when you try to code it all together at the end. So again, the big thing here is just knowing what the operations actually do. Do you have to use the stuff narrative or like that story? No, you don't. Come up with some way that you know what the difference is between addition and subtraction, and really how you can tell the difference between addition and multiplication, and then multiplication and division. And that will save you a lot of headaches as you move forward in your math career.